Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with Blaze in Corp. We are going to be going up against the Nether Spider Doom Tower Heart for 90, I believe. Next. Alright, so here we are at the Nether Spider. We have another triple reviver team with a little bit of HP burns and uh, reflect damage along with shields. So let's take a look at the champions here. Alright, so first, uh, here we've got Under Priest Brogni, one of my favorite champions. He's back in the lineup here. Uh, we've got a stun set on him as well as uh you know what you see here tons of health good decent amount of defense uh, decent amount of speed here and a uh, good amount of resistance that could be higher um, i do have to say so myself um we probably will have to re-kit him just like we re-kitted um just like we were kitted magna steel girdle uh, here so next we've got uh, Scylla the Drakes. Uh, we've got Perception set on her. She's gonna have really good stats uh, on her here as well. So uh, 49,000 hit points, 3,500 defense, uh, 204 speed, and then uh, 277 resistance, 257 accuracy. Um, definitely some good stats on her uh, here. You always wanna build your Scylla the Drakes as like a jack of all trades, because uh, she does have some debuffs. And then uh, you, you don't really want her to get uh, controlled at all. Uh, so next we're gonna have uh, Ursula the Mourner. She's definitely um, come into her own uh, here in my teams. She was worth uh, every shard that we paid for her. I believe it was 15 shards uh, here back in the day. And not too long ago, I should say, that we paid for her to get her guaranteed, and she's been worth it ever since. She definitely pre helped me progress in the Doom Tower uh, here. So 64,000 hit points. Uh, she got good defense and good attack uh, here. Uh, 216 speed, which is nice. Uh, 238 uh, resistance and 3. 56 that's a whopping 356 accuracy when the great hall is done that's going to be over 400 when uh the resistance on the great hall is done that's going to be over 300 uh here so uh, pretty nice uh, on that side of things and then last but not least we got magna steel girl uh here and uh, she's got a perception set and then a bunch of broken gear on uh, here, um, so 55,000 hit points, 3,100 defense, 242, that's a whopping amount of speed uh, here, and then 360 resistance. We re-kitted her, and she is fantastic. She is definitely, along with Ursula the Mourner uh, here, and so the Drakes, has always allowed me to get through the Doom Tower, not only the waves, uh, here where sometimes you gotta have a specialized team for certain waves but uh, definitely allow me to more easily navigate the harder bosses uh, here in the doom tower um, especially the scarab king uh, who we're gonna be coming up against tomorrow i'm not looking forward to that battle that's uh, gonna be a vicious vicious battle uh, here all right so that's kind of it though i guess we got one more person to look at uh, here, where is she? Uh, and no, you know, nothing special about her. She could, she could definitely use a rekit uh, here, but um, her ability to on her A1 land um, the HP burn is quite significant uh, here. So definitely important that we have that uh, that accuracy a little bit higher. I uh, wish it was like around 350 though. Um, but it doesn't seem to really affect her hitting her A1, so I'm not super concerned there. Now, otherwise, yeah, I wish you had uh, some more hit points, and that's what we'll probably do when we're uh, going to re-kit her down the line. All right, let's take a uh, let's take a gander at this uh, at this battle here. 
All right, so main thing here is just gonna be flying through this particular level uh, here. There's nothing really too crazy about the waves here. Um, yeah, we're just hoping that we don't have to use too many abilities um, here while we're on the second wave. Yeah, because that could kind of mess up the beginning of our run uh, here uh, versus the nether spider. Um, and that could potentially cause us to lose a bunch of guys right off the beginning or just make it a little bit harder for us to uh, to kind of roll through. Now, I did see Ursula the Mourner use her ability right at the end, so that really sucks. It's going to be a couple turns before she gets that back and we get into a, a decent rotation where we're uh, mitigating a bunch of damage but also uh, able to you know, get the strength in on so we don't take these massive hits. But this is one of the reasons that we have three revivers so that uh, if someone goes down they can be picked up you know, pretty much immediately. Yeah, so pretty much immediately uh, there. Now, um, Under Priest with his shields and Magnus Steel Girdle with, his sh with her shields are going to allow us to reflect back, plus uh, Giant Slayer procs, um, a lot of the damage back at the boss. But yeah, the main amount of damage is going to be done via HP burn here. So that uh, is something uh, on that end here that we are looking for is the uh, the HP burn, the proc, all the time, every time, uh, here, and uh, for Anarl to consistently put that on. Now, one thing I am watching, uh, since I have not built this team out to actually like go against this boss uh, as a preset team, is uh, seeing if Anarl actually does anything other than her A1. Um, I'm really hoping she doesn't uh, here try to do anything else um, and just hits her A1 consistently. But I I'm really watching that this time around just to see if that's the case. Because I know she can land her poisons on her A2. Yeah, so it looks so far like she's trying to hit her A1 pretty consistently. Yeah, it looks pretty much, pretty much like she's trying to hit her A1. Doesn't look like she's trying any of the other ones. So that's a, that's a really good thing uh, there on that side of things. Now, it's always nice seeing that big uh, you know, big hits uh, from the spider being reflected back as damage to the spider and uh, getting those big HP bird procs. <laughs> yeah, seeing 294 is always a thing of beauty uh, here. So Naro is definitely going to be our main damage dealer here and then everyone else is just there to support her and just get, you know, they get a little, they'll get a little bit of damage, but uh, for the most part, it's not anything uh, consistent in terms of uh, you know other people's damage. Now, one thing I do wish I could have brought in here was like a cleanser, just to cleanse off those like you know really crazy amount of um, poisons that come on. But uh, now as they say, beggars can't be choosers. Bon appetit. Right here we just kind of got to go with uh, what's here and. I you know, hope we have that shield up where we can get the heals back. <laughs> yeah, so we're halfway done here. And, um, okay, good. We got some uh, continuous heals out uh, here. So that's it. That's important. Uh, there's Magnus Steel Girl getting her continuous heals out so that we don't have to worry as much that, uh, you know, someone's going to go down and potentially not get back up here. 
So yeah, super important is is the way we have this team set up. So someone who's going to be a consistent HP burn. Now something um, that I'm working on just to get real proper proper gear is that Dexter Blood Twin. He'd be perfect for this level. Uh, here you can bring him in as your your A1. Uh, sorry, and bring him in as your your main uh, here your leader. Uh, or you can even have Law to the side. Now, pure benefit of Dexter Blood Twin in this particular uh, level is that uh, every time, even though the Spider Links hit him, he's got a 55% chance to put HP burn on them. So that every time they take their turn, their damage in the main Spider just causes for a much quicker death on the uh, for the main Spider. Now here, much like in spider uh, there the dungeon spider right so um pretty cool uh, definitely a strat that i will use once he's properly kitted uh here but we do he's not super stat hungry but we do need a few key stats resistance and a little bit of accuracy too i would assume uh here um we'd also need you know high defense uh, as well and then a decent um decent amount of speed you're probably looking over 200 speed uh, here is what i would consider a decent amount all right so we are coming to the end here um yeah this is uh this is a very consistent run i've run it a few times now and um yeah i haven't really there's been some close calls people have died and like you know whatnot but uh that's the reason we developed well the reason i developed this three reviver strategy uh, here with uh with brogni as the shields is because uh, you don't have to worry as much that uh you know something is going to go off the rails uh, just with like an errant hit or anything like that this team is made to take a lot of damage uh, here and uh, reflect it back you know, so definitely not a bad thing uh, there whatsoever so as we finish up our MVP is definitely going to be a gnarl uh, here um, just for her HP burns alone um, I would say the secondary uh, MVP should go to our survivors because they have done some work tonight uh, here for sure uh, so definitely they get a second yeah, definitely they get a second uh, here for uh, having you know good reviving skills all right that's been it for this video do let me know who you guys are using to complete nether spider floor number 90 uh, here do go ahead just you know, look below this video here you see that red button click it it says subscribe subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot uh, here and hit that like button thank you so much for watching don't be a ninja watcher hit the like hit the like and the subscribe button we'll see you again next time let's chat 